Good afternoon, happy Thursday, and welcome back to Living Local. I'm Fernanda Hernandez. And I'm Josh Marses. Thanks for tuning in with us. We have a great show packed with content today. Yes, we're kicking off the show with some hair updos you can look your best in if you're attending some Christmas or New Year's parties this holiday season. Also, I told you yesterday a new feathered friend is making a TV debut, and we are delivering. Last but certainly not least, our tour continues through Jefferson, Texas, and there's a beautiful bed and breakfast that could become part of a new Christmas tradition for you and your family. But first, we need to know what's co happening with the weather, so Josh, help us out here. Sun coming back today. It's yes. the nicest thing. We haven't <laughs> seen it since late last week in some areas, but uh, yeah, definitely going to be a windy day as well. That will turn into the story here for the next few hours, so we are looking at temperatures uh, kind of leveling off here in the low to mid 50s this afternoon. Keep in mind that will come with the wind chill as well. So it is going to feel like it's in the 40s throughout the day today. And we are looking at uh, those are sustained winds there. So we will see some wind gusts over 30 miles per hour this afternoon. Uh, not a lot of fun when it's that windy, but we should see the winds decrease just a little bit overnight tonight. But it will remain breezy enough that we'll probably see uh, wind chill temperatures overnight drop into the 20s. I think most areas above freezing, but if you live north of I-30, Little River, Howard, McCurtain, Sevier counties, possibility you do dip below freezing tonight, so if you do have any sensitive plants, vegetation that you need to cover up, bring in, go ahead and do that tonight as we'll come close to those freezing temperatures. And uh, you see that right there down to 39 tonight in Treeport, 36 in Texarkana, 32 for Idabel. And uh, again, we're likely done with the rainfall as we continue through the remainder of the day today, but the uh, cloud cover may be a little bit stubborn to lift out of here. So what we're looking at as we go through the day tomorrow, topping back out in the 50s, beautiful weekend, 60s Saturday, low 60s Sunday, still looks like a very slight chance of some rainfall. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. If you do have travel plans at this point, don't worry about it, but we do have a pretty big cold front on the way middle of next week. So December 26th, a lot of you may be traveling back or maybe traveling somewhere after Christmas. Keep an eye on that one. That one uh, has the potential to bring some heavier rainfall to the region. That is a check of your forecast. Go ahead and send it back over to Fernando.